Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today, something very special came in the mail and I'm very, very excited about it. It is the Vive lipsticks. You'll see from the title of this video, I'm so super hyped about it. The brand new Vive lipsticks and a couple of her liners, I ordered them and they came next day because I spent so much money. So if you want to see me swatching the five brand new Vive lipsticks and a couple of their liners, then please keep on watching. And if you're new here, hello, welcome. My name is Meg and I like to talk about all the superficial things around here, all the things that don't really matter but brings a little bit of joy in the everyday grind that can be life, and boy can it. All things makeup, skincare, haircare, homeware and fashion, we talk about them all in some capacity. So yeah, join the family lamb, hit subscribe, join the family lamb, ring the bell, do all those things, be part of my inner circle of trust. And let's just get into this, I'm so hyped. Okay, so truth be had it, before the lipsticks launched, I ordered one of these, okay? Call me what you like. I ordered one of the Joy de Vive hoodies or sweaters rather. Something you've got to know about me. I also ordered a liner, but something you've got to know about me is I am a bit of a a bit of a um a bit of a ho a bit of a ho um <laughs> I'm a bit of one of them for a crew neck. And uh, this is a crew neck and uh, it's grey and you could get the black one as well, but I got the grey. I got mine in the um, size medium. Look at this detailing, like all the Vive labels. I don't know if it's going to focus, but the Vive labels on these are stunning. Um, and it just says Joy de Vive, which I am obsessed with. So uh, I've deliberately got, I don't know if you'll be able to see my nipples through this. Maybe you will, but you know, free the nip. Um, I've just got this like bodysuit on, so I'm going to chuck this on. And we're going to do swatches in my new crew neck sweater. I'm buzzing. I'm on my tippy toes, but this is my back pocket. And it comes to like here. So it just, it comes nicely around the bum. I'm very, very pleased about this. Now my hair is an absolute state. I've got half a can of dry shampoo in it. Holler at me, all the girls with half a dry shampoo can in their hair at all times. Do you know what? This is a bloody moment with this necklace, these hoops. I'm feeling myself, girl, I'm feeling myself. I also ordered a liner with this because I needed free shipping. Like I was like, I don't, I'm not, I don't pay for this shipping business, okay? So I picked up the liner in Rumour. I have the lip liners in Brat and Velvet Sands. And I really, really like these liners. I think they stay on really, really well. This one is like a deep burgundy red. It's really, really lovely. Let me just swatch it for you. Oh yeah, it's like a brown deep brown burgundy. I don't know why I said red, but deep brown burgundy colour. Really, really lovely. Very pleased about that. But of course, you're really here for this. Now, ugh, just the branding of Vive. I'm just obsessed. Vive is obviously run by Jamie Genevieve here on YouTube. She's a Scottish YouTuber. Um, and I am from the other end of Britain. I'm in England, obviously. The, literally the very south of England. Couldn't get any more south apart from the Isle of Wight, but I do love supporting a good great British brand and yeah Vive is 100% vegan and cruelty free and I just I just love Jamie I think she's really cool and I just love her vibe you know I just love her vibe so I ordered three lip liners and I ordered the five lipsticks she does sell five lip liners in this collection she also says, sells five lip liners in her nudes collection I've got her lipsticks right here they're honestly one of my favourite lip formulas. I think they're so creamy, they're so lovely, they're just so Moorish and I truly love them. So when she launched these new lipsticks for, I suppose, I suppose it's for Valentine's Day, I'm not really too sure if it's supposed to be for that, but they're all kind of pinky and peachy and lovely and just, just beautiful. But I also have three lip liners from her nudes collection, so it just felt fitting to get three lip liners from her newer collection. I may one day fill in the gaps and purchase the remaining four lip liners from both collections that I'm missing, but what I was trying to do is get the three lip liners that kind of covered the essence of what the five were supposed to be representing and just taking away the gaps. So I have got Stupid Cupid, Peached, Peached, and Rouge Rouge. So let me swatch these all for you now. Just while I get these out of the boxes, I want to take the chance to remind you that I have the original Vive 5 lipsticks swatched and I'll link that up in the eye for you if you want to go watch that. I'm really proud of that video. I really liked how everything ran and I have it all time stamped if you are interested in a specific lipstick. So I'd quite like to go with that format again. So these are the three that I bought. As you can see, I tried to go for kind of just capture the essence of the whole collection. So this is the shade peached. I'm swatching these real time with you. I've not swatched these before. It's like a lovely pink toned peach. It's not too milky and I really really like that. The next one I have here is called Stupid Cupid and the final one I have here is Rouge Rouge which is the deeper one. Um, 
more like of a berry toned pink that's a really terrible terrible swatch those were the three lip liners that i purchased so just to remind you that's peached stupid cupid and rouge rouge and just for your information the packaging for all of these products are just the same as all of her other product packaging for vive let's roll up my sleeve and swatch the five lipsticks also, if you haven't seen these before, these have got beautiful embossings. My goodness, it says Vive there. Really, really stunning lipsticks. They kind of look very Tom Ford, very expensive. And uh, they have the magnetic lid with V on the top of it, which again, just, just bloody beautiful. Faux leather, gold hardware, stunning, stunning, stunning. So this is the shade Pinch. That's like a Your Lips But Better sort of pinky colour that's really lovely and the next one we have here is called cherub's kiss this is like a beautiful rosy toned pink really, really nice and like a dusty rose beautiful colour the next one we have here is called promise that's a really really lovely like deep whiny rose like it's got some depth in there that whiny burgundy but it's a lovely rosy pink tone the next shade we have here is called Deity. It's kind of like a brownie, more peachy um, rose. So whereas this one's more uh, of a mauvey burgundy rose, this is like a peachier nude. Very deep, but very lovely. Almost like an iteration of this one, but deeper. And this one's an iteration, or this one is an iteration of this one, but deeper. Very nice. And then finally, to finish it all off, we have the shade Lara. It's like a wine, wine red, I want to call it really lovely got a really lovely red bricky tone to it i feel like she's really got a lovely grouping of colors here you can definitely see the theme of peaches and pinks and rosy tones and just really like lovely pinky colors and as you can see this is what i meant when i was trying to say i went for like the three colors that i felt really symbolized or like represented this collection of five i feel like i've done pretty well in picking the three that do i've gone for a deep one a peachy one and a pink so the peachy one will cover like these two and then the pinky one will cover that one and then the deep one will cover that one which is beautiful which is Lara. So yeah let's get these on my lips. <laughs> Thank you. 
obviously I'm obsessed with these. These are all so pretty, honestly. Like, I just love every single one. I have no qualms. I have nothing bad to say about any of these lipsticks. I think they were all beautiful individually in each of their own kind of way. All lovely iterations of pinks and rosy tones and peachy pinks. Just very romantic, very fun, and I think perfect for this time of year. Kind of going into spring in another month or so. And I think these are going to be so perfect. And they also work well, really, like, really well with the nudes that she already has in the collection. I think she's done these and executed these really, really well. Um, which one should I wear to close this video? I'm going to pick Deity. I think this one would go really well with like my eye makeup I've got on and it's lovely and muted. Let's do this one. Also, look at that pigment. Look at this. Oh, I feel so cute. Honestly, I really want to go for this like deep raspberry red. I'm just not sure that it would actually go. But I'm going to go with this one, which is Stupid Cupid, I believe. Yeah, Stupid Cupid. I feel like sometimes when you've got such a richly pigmented lipstick, you can kind of create your own lip shape out of it. But my top lip is sometimes is a little bit wonky wonk. So I just like to go back in uh, with a lip liner and just define my lip edge a little bit more and blend it all in to create a little bit more of a crisper, crisper edge. <laughs> Oh, she is the moment. She is the moment. Another benefit of doing your lip liner after your lipstick is that you don't get a stark difference. Like I said, I only bought three just to kind of get the general idea of the colour story, but doing it afterwards kind of helps it blends more into the lipstick and makes it less of a stark difference. Honestly, I do recommend these lip products. I think they are really, truly beautiful. I think it's one of those things where they are a little bit more expensive. They're not as cheap as other brands. Um, so definitely don't go buy it if you don't need it or you're not sure. If you have the money and you think you'd like some of these, colors or one of these colors i'm just gonna let you know that you're not gonna be disappointed i don't think you'll be disappointed i truly love them and i just jumped at the chance to get this collection i'm super super hyped i am like literally i was feeling myself in every one of those lip colors i was like mm, 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 yes like they're so beautiful so yeah i do recommend they will probably be on cult beauty because vive is on cult beauty as well i ordered these off of her website i do highly recommend her website as well um i have had no problems with her website fast shipping everything comes beautifully packaged so either or you know if you want to support vive a little bit more by shopping on her website the prices are exactly the same as on cult beauty so so if you're out to just purchase just something from Vive, then go to her website, support the brand a little bit more by doing that because they don't have to pay anything funky wonky with occult beauty and things like that. So yeah, I really, really like these. I highly recommend them. I think they're beautiful. And yeah, let me know if you're excited about this new lip collection, if you're going to be purchasing any. Let me know down below if you've got a favourite colour, if you're going to be buying them, what you think of them. And yeah, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Hit thumbs up if you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. And ring the bell because then you'll be notified of all the videos I upload. I upload every other day, three to four videos a week. And I wouldn't want you to miss out on them. So please do hit subscribe, like, thumbs up, ring the bell, do all those lovely YouTube things. Take care guys, stay safe, and I will see you in my next one. Bye!